So let's look at how to set up Traction to play back a general MIDI file, a multi-instrument MIDI file, in a way that lets me jam along to it and uh, maybe selectively mute some of the tracks in the MIDI file, or maybe even put some of the Traction effects on, like uh, compression and reverb. So first thing, we'll want uh, a new project. So let's uh, set up a T4 MIDI uh, demo. And uh, OK that come in, we've got uh, our default edit, let's open that, it's got no particular template so let's uh, tidy up uh, these inputs which we're not going to use and uh, in my uh, browser in Traction I can uh, browse to the fold where I've got some MIDI samples let's bring on this uh, general MIDI uh, file and just bring that into the edit and drop it on and it looks like we've got 14 uh, channels being used in this MIDI file and Traction has helpfully put each channel into a separate track and uh, also for each track is giving us a helpful warning because the track contains a MIDI clip it might be inaudible as it doesn't output the track doesn't output to a MIDI device or a plug-in synthesizer and for track one let's have a look it's outputting to the default audio output so it's quite right that's not going to be able to play MIDI and I don't have any MIDI instrument in my filter section over here in the mixer. So one way around that is I could uh, choose to output that track to the Microsoft uh, General MIDI output. Uh, so I can do that slightly more quickly by multi-selecting. Uh, but uh, although that lets me hear the track, uh, it's not going to let me uh, export that as, as a WAV file very easily in Traction and I'm not going to be able to affect that, uh, those tracks uh, with any Traction filters because uh, it's just MIDI data leaving Traction and going into uh, the Windows wavetable synth. So uh, I think what I would prefer to do is use SFZ Plus which I've installed which is a, a sound font player. So I'm going to create a new track down at the bottom here I'm going to call, call this uh, Combined MIDI. And I'm going to select the previous 14 tracks. So shift click to multi select. And instead of outputting to the Microsoft Wavetable Synth, I'm going to choose Output to Track 15, the new track I just created. And uh, down on Track 15, I'm going to drag in a new filter and I'm going to choose the SFZ Plus filter which uh, in my folders is in Synths, Cakewalk, SFZ but if you've organized those differently it's likely to look different for you and uh, the first thing that happens is SFZ Plus UI pops up and uh, you can set things like the quality down here, so 72 for a higher quality and then click the options button and choose single file mode Otherwise, you'll need to choose a different uh, MIDI sound font for each channel that we're using. We've got 14 channels here. Uh, but I want to use the same sound font file for every channel. So choosing single file mode will help. Choose GM mode. Channel 10 is drums, as it is in most uh, general MIDI files that you might download. And uh, I think that looks good. So we'll just go with those two options and let's choose what file we want now i'm going to use weeds gm3 so that has sounds for all of the general midi channels and uh, the drums and uh, i think that's uh, set up you'll see that all of the channels when you initially load up are set to grand piano but if we uh, rewind and start to play the clip uh, they they jump pretty quickly uh, into uh, the, uh, this, the programs that have been assigned in each MIDI clip. Uh, so, see they've got the right sounds. We can close that configuration window now. Rewind here. Let's just come down to combine MIDI, the output there. We don't want that to be output to the wave table synth anymore. The uh, SFZ Plus plugin is going to turn that into audio again, digital audio. So let's choose default audio out. I can rewind and hit play. 
and uh, two advantages one that sounds a little bit better than the Microsoft synthesizer and the second is this sound is all being generated inside traction the MIDI all set up to output via this uh, channel down at the bottom combined MIDI I can uh, just drop any traction filter in here so I could uh, just drop the channel strip uh, plugin in there and uh, do anything I need to do with that and of course I can create extra tracks down at the bottom here and set any input there and of course uh, play the MIDI file and uh, jam along and uh, edit the MIDI tracks uh, along with the recorded audio in the same way as I normally would so I hope that was interesting and thanks for watching